How are you guys doing? Left whatever here. And today is the start of a new Beyblade series or what could potentially be a new Beyblade series if you like it. Today we are going to try to make Heaven Pegasus good. And it just breaks my heart whenever I use Heaven Pegasus in a video and I go to my comment section and then people are just freaking roasting me. They're like, Noah, you have horrible opinions. Why do you like Heaven Pegasus? It's like one of the worst GT Beyblades out there. And I mean, I like it because it looks cool. It looks so nice. It looks so pretty. I love the color scheme. I think it just goes with the Beyblade so well. And also, its gimmick is awesome. It regains clicks. Like, how cool is that? Anyway, so yeah, today we are going to try to make one of my favorite GT Beyblades actually good. Now, Heaven Pegasus is seen as one of the worst GT Beyblades, like I said before. But we are going to be switching up the combo. And hopefully, we'll make a combo that makes Heaven Pegasus actually viable. And maybe he'll be able to beat crazy Beyblades such as Lord Sprig and crazy Beyblades such as Prime Apocalypse. But honestly, I'm not really sure because Heaven Pegasus, again, isn't really that great. As much as I want it to be good, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the best Beyblade competitive-wise. Anyway, so I only have one rule in making the combo. That one rule is we have to stick with the Heaven Pegasus Gachi chip and the Heaven Pegasus layer base just because I feel like that's the most associated with the Heaven Pegasus name. For instance, when you're talking to your friend about the ba new Beyblade Heaven Pegasus, or the best Beyblade ever, actually sorry, scratch that, second best Beyblade ever after Lord Spriggan, you don't say like, dude, have you seen the new Heaven Pegasus 10 proof low set? No, you just say Heaven Pegasus. You're just like, oh bro, you see that new Heaven Pegasus? So yeah, we are going to be keeping the Heaven Pegasus gachi chip and the Heaven Pegasus layer base. As for all the other parts, we are going to be switching to try to make a better combo. So yeah, first off let's of course start out with the layer the only thing that we can really change in the layer is the weight honestly the send weight although it is really cool like it does look like it's really heavy it's actually one of the lighter weights in the game surprisingly it's not that heavy although it is really balanced i don't think we're going to be using this weight for this combo some weights i am thinking about using is the weight that came on slash valkyrie i'm sorry guys i don't know the name of the weights they're just all really confusing because they're all like in japanese or like japanese characters or whatever and i'm just not I, I'm not gonna bother myself with learning them. Anyway, this is the one that released on Slash Valkyrie. I think this is the heaviest weight to be released, and although it is really heavy and I would usually use it on a Beyblade combo, it's just that this one is really unbalanced. As you can see, it has one metal point right there and two metal points right there. And for a stamina type Beyblade, you don't really want the Beyblade to be unbalanced, so I don't think we're gonna be using this weight. Another weight we could use is the one that released on a Dragon. Although it's not as heavy as the other weight we were talking about, it is freaking gold. And gold is amazing, so I definitely think we're gonna be using this weight. Actually, no, I'm I'm sure we're gonna be using this weight. You know, yeah, I'm already gonna put the weight on the baby. But oh my god, that looks so nice. That looks so cool. I love it. Okay, I mean, I was gonna recommend the gen weight because the gen weight helps with burst resistance, and Heaven Pegasus definitely has a problem with bursting. It's probably the best weight to use, but like this this one looks cooler, so we're gonna use this weight. Uh, maybe later in the video, if it has trouble with bursting, if uh, our Heaven Pegasus combo bursts a lot, we might switch switch to the Gen weight, although the Gen weight is really light, so then it might make some other problems. Maybe the other Beyblades will be able to hit the Beyblade out of the stadium more, or maybe Heaven Pegasus will have less stamina, so honestly, you can't really have the best of both worlds. This ain't no Miley Cyrus uh, Disney Channel show or whatever. You can only have burst resistance, or you could have weight. You can't have both. It sucks. Anyway, moving on to the next part, we have the disc, and the disc that Heaven Pegasus comes with is actually fairly good. This is a really good disc uh, frame combination. It's the 10 disc, which is one of the best core discs in the game. It is super heavy, and it comes with the proof frame, and the proof frame is really good for life after death and stamina, so honestly, I'm not really sure if we can even find a disc that can one-up this one. I'm sure we'll have to use- we can't- we definitely can't use any core discs, um, uh, with frames just because I don't think there is a core disc with a frame that can one up the 10 proof uh, disc we have right here. Although maybe you uh, replace the 10 with, I don't know, maybe something like double O. Maybe double is a little heavier, so maybe that'll uh, improve the combo a little bit. But I think we'll have to move on to some different discs besides the core discs, maybe some GT discs, or maybe some other discs. So yeah, uh, some GT discs I'm thinking of is maybe the Blitz disc that released on Slash Valkyrie. This is one of the heaviest discs to be released, although it is an attack type disc, so it is very unbalanced. I feel like it doesn't have much stamina because of these little claws right here. Or what are, what are these things? They're just little tab things. I mean, that that's adorable, I guess. 
cool. But I honestly, I don't think it's really gonna have that much stamina. So we are not gonna be using the Blitz disc. Another disc I wanna talk about is the Sting disc. Here's the Sting disc right here. Uh, it definitely has more stamina than the Blitz disc, although I still think it's more attack orientated, so we're not gonna be using the Sting disc either. Although this is gold too, and it would match so well with our golden combo. Oh my goodness, I'm actually tempted to use it now. No, no, no. We're trying to make Heaven Pegasus good. We're not trying to make it pretty. It's already pretty enough. We're not using the Sting disc. Self-control. All right, next up, we have the Around disc that released on Flare Dragon, and this disc is really good. I, It's definitely one of uh, the best discs that we could use on this combo. It's really heavy, and it has really good stamina. And I would usually use this disc, but I found kind of an exploit, guys. Here, I have the Outer Disc, debatably one of the best discs for stamina just because of its weight distribution. For some reason, listen to this, guys. Listen to this. Okay, so these are the normal clicks for Heaven Pegasus. I'm gonna shut up so you can listen to it. Ready? Let me move it closer to the, uh, to the mic. You hear that? All right, now let me show you what the final click for Heaven Pegasus looks like when you use the outer disc. Oh, you can't even hear it. Wait. Let me put it near the near the mic. Doesn't it sound different? It's super tight. It barely makes a sound. And that's because the Beyblade is extremely tight. Look at this. The disc literally sticks to the Beyblade for some reason. Let me show you how it doesn't stick to other discs. Like if I put the normal one on, it falls off. If I put the around one on, it falls off. But if for some reason, with the outer disc, it's like an exploit. It literally just sticks to the Beyblade. It's super grippy. Is grippy a word? Grippy is definitely not a word. It's super tight. That's what I meant. Anyways, yeah, it's super tight and it stays on the Beyblade and that'll definitely help with burst resistance. So the fact that the outer disc has really good stamina and for some reason it's super tight on Heaven Pegasus, we are definitely going to be ha having to use uh, the outer disc for this combo. Alright, moving on to the final part, we have the driver. Now the driver that released on Heaven Pegasus is the low driver, and although the low driver seems super awesome, it seems super amazing at first glance, you're like, oh my goodness, it's like a metal version of Eternal, it's a metal version of Revolve! Sadly, it's not as good as Eternal or Revolve just because it has horrible stamina for some reason, its stamina is just not on par with Revolve or Eternal, and it has a really bad life after death. So although uh, it is metal, and usually when you think metal, you're, you're like, oh my goodness, that must be way stronger than all those plastic Beyblades, because metal is heavier and it has less friction. Sadly, in this case, metal is not better, and the low driver kind of sucks. So yeah, which driver should we put on it to replace the low driver? Of course, when you see a Beyblade like Heaven Pegasus, a Beyblade with bad teeth, you instantly want to put a dash driver on it. A dash driver, such as a Extreme Dash or Ultimate Reboot Dash that just released on Prime Apocalypse and I would usually be totally on board with using a dash driver except in this case Heaven Pegasus is a stamina type Beyblade and I feel like using an attack type driver just wouldn't be that great so sadly we are not going to be using uh, any attack type dash drivers now they have released some balance type dash drivers that do come in stamina type modes such as Unite and Trans and these guys I, I love I love the Unite dash so much I really do want to put on this combo but sadly although they do have stamina modes their stamina modes aren't as great as normal stamina drivers so i don't think we are going to be using those either uh so yeah we're definitely gonna to have to be using a stamina driver for this beyblade just to get the maximum amount of stamina now when you think of the best stamina type driver in the game you definitely think of a driver like bearing and sadly we're not going to be using bearing on this uh combo either because bearing of course has a weak spring so if we have a weak spring on weak teeth that is just not a good combination. Our combo is going to be bursting like crazy, so we're definitely not going to be using the bearing driver. And that leaves us with these two drivers right here. Probably the top stamina type drivers in the game. We have Revolve and Eternal. And in my opinion, I just think Eternal is slightly better than Revolve. They're around the same level, but I think Eternal is slightly better. So we are definitely going to be using the Eternal driver on this Beyblade. So here is our full upgraded Pegasus combo. It is Heaven Pegasus. Outer Eternal. So yeah, let's go to the stadium. Let's test this guy out. Hopefully it's better than the stock combo. Hopefully it'll be able to defeat some crazy phase. Or, and you know, you know what? Heaven Pegasus is one of the worst GT Beyblades, so I'm at least hoping that it can defeat some average Beyblades, such as like Slash Valkyrie or East Dragon. If it can beat those guys, I'll be happy, but I'll be ecstatic if this Beyblade can beat something like Lord Spriggan or a, some, a Beyblade like Prime Apocalypse. That'd be amazing. Anyway, so yeah, see you guys at the stadium.
Okay, so as you see, we're at the stadium with the upgraded Heaven Pegasus combo. Heaven Pegasus Outer Eternal. I got a bunch of Beyblades we're gonna be testing against. I actually brought the new El Drago to test it against. But look at this thing. This thing looks awesome. It looks so cool. I'm super excited to use that guy. Anyway, so yeah, let's test it against all of these combos. Most of these combos are uh, the better Beyblades in GT, such as Lord Spriggan. We got Union Achilles. We have Prime Apocalypse. We got a bunch of really good GT Beyblades, so let's see how the GT Beyblades do against uh, the upgraded Heaven Pegasus combo. Hopefully the Heaven Pegasus combo will actually be good and will beat these super good GT Beyblades. If it doesn't, then we failed this video we didn't actually make Heaven Pegasus good. Anyway, so yeah, who should we go up against first? I'm gonna go up against probably one of the weaker GT Beyblades. Let's do, let's put it, oh. Let's put it up against Slash Valkyrie and see how it does against Slash Valkyrie. Ready, three, two, one, go shoot. Upgraded Heaven Pegasus combo, three, two, one, go shoot. Slash, oh, it already lost. Oh no, it couldn't even beat Slash Valkyrie. But hey, it didn't click at all, so I, I guess that was cool. Maybe that was a fluke, let's try that one more time. Ready, three, two, one, go shoot. Heaven Pegasus, three, two, one, go shoot, slash, Valkyrie, okay, who's gonna win this? I kinda launched slash Valkyrie bad, I didn't really launch it in a rush shoot, I kinda just, oh, oh, it versus slash Valkyrie, it versus slash Valkyrie, okay, so, so it's 1-1 one, one so far, slash Valkyrie has a point, Heaven Pegasus has a point, uh, let's do one more battle between these two before I move on, Heaven Pegasus almost bursted, oh no, we might have to switch the weight again so it has more burst resistance later in the video, if, if we have trouble with bursting we'll switch it of course, ready 3-2-1 go shoot, Heaven Pegasus, 3-2-1 go shoot, slash Valkyrie, okay, yes, no, yes, no, D who won that, yeah, duh, duh. okay, okay, so, Heaven Pegasus did burst, but it bursted in the pocket, so I feel like it was still intact and then it hit the wall and bursted, but Slash Valkyrie bursted while hitting Heaven Pegasus, so I'm gonna say that Slash Valkyrie bursted before Heaven Pegasus, therefore Heaven Pegasus won. So there you go, the new Heaven Pegasus combo, although right now it doesn't seem amazing, it was able to defeat Slash Valkyrie, so that that's something, right? Anyway, let's move on to a different Beyblade. Let's go with a Beyblade that's slightly better than Slash Valkyrie. We have Ace Dragon. I just realized that I switched the weights on Slash Valkyrie and Ace Dragon. If you look at that, Slash Valkyrie has uh, Ace Dragon's weight and Ace Dragon has Slash Valkyrie's weight. I don't know how that happened, don't worry about it. Anyway, let's see how uh, Ace Dragon does against Heaven Pegasus. 3, 2, one, shoot. Upgrade Heaven Pegasus combo. 3, 2, 1, go, shoot. Uh, Ace Dragon. Let's see who's going to win this one. Heaven Pegasus seems a little off balance, um, but I'm sure it's still going to be able to win. I think Heaven Pegasus actually has a lot of stamina. See, Heaven Pegasus is just eating these hits. Yes! Okay, so the new upgrade Heaven Pegasus combo was able to defeat Slash... Did I say Slash? Sorry, Ace Dragon. Who should we put uh, the upgrade Heaven Pegasus combo up against? Let's do it against... Uh, let's go with... Uh, Flare Dragon, one of the best stamina types in all of GT, if not the best stamina type Beyblade in all of GT. Alright, ready? I'm gonna launch Heaven Pegasus first, just to see if it can win even if I launch it first. Alright, ready? Go. Shoot. Heaven Pegasus, 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot. There is Flare Dragon. Let's see if Heaven Pegasus can defeat Flare Dragon, or if Flare Dragon just has more stamina with Heaven Pegasus. I feel like with the Outer Disc and the Eternal Driver, Heaven Pegasus should have more stamina, and Heaven Pegasus definitely does have a lot more stamina than Flare Dragon. Let's try that one more time. Three, two, three, shoot. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. All right, both Beyblades are in the stadium. See, Heaven Pegasus, it's not a bad layer. I feel like it's just the low driver that makes Heaven Pegasus bad because the low driver, it doesn't have that much stamina and it doesn't have that much life after death. It seems like a really good driver because it seems like a metal revolve, but it ain't that great. Anyway, the winner of that battle is going to be Heaven Pegasus again because this Beyblade is actually good, all right? Anyway, let's move on to a different Beyblade. I don't know why this guy's a defense type Beyblade. It, it doesn't really make sense to me, but whatever. Takeru Tomi can do what they want. I'm sure they explain the anime. All right, next up, let's uh, 
I'm gonna save Lord Spriggan for last. I save Lord Spriggan for last every single video just because I think it's the coolest Beyblade there is. And honestly, am I wrong? No, no, I'm not because it is the coolest Beyblade out there. So let's do Lightning El Drago next. This thing is so cool. I love it so much. The Zephyr Dash, it's like, it's like a jet black. Oh my god, it's, it's amazing. With the gold, it looks so awesome. I can't wait to get the actual set with the original recolor or with the original colors because although the recolor looks really cool, the original colors, let's be honest, those are probably much cooler. Anyway, let me get my left spin launcher. Where did I put my left spin launcher? Okay, I got my left spin launcher. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Upgraded Heaven Pegasus combo. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Lightning El Drago. Oh, no! Lightning El Drago won! Lightning El Drago is really cool. I'm not even mad that it won. Okay, we'll try that one more time. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Upgraded Pegasus combo. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Lightning El Drago. Let's see. Oh! oh. Okay, that was a solid hit, but Pegasus was able to win that one. Oh, El Drago almost bursted. Was Pegasus close to- No clicks on Pegasus! Dang, dang, that's pretty epic. Alright, move on to a different Beyblade. Let's go with Diabolos. Venom Diabolos. Let's see how Pegasus does against Venom Diabolos with the bullet driver. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. I'm great at Beyblade, I swear. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Uh, Venom Diablo. Solid hits from Venom Diablo. Again, if this was normal Texas combo, it would have burst by this. But oh no, Scrape Nation! Oh no, Diablos is scraping too! And Pegasus was able to defeat Venom Diablos. Well, was Heaven Pegasus able to defeat everyone? Okay, so it kind of tied with Valkyrie, but it was able to uh, gain more points on Valkyrie, so it was able to defeat Valkyrie. It defeated Flare Dragon. Did it lose to Ace Dragon? I'm pretty sure it like tied to Ace Dragon. It defeated uh, El Drago, and it defeated Diablos. Well, see, Heaven Pegasus is good. It's just the combo that they use on it, the stock combo, it ain't that great. But if you switch it up, it's actually a really good Beyblade. So I think we're succeeding at this point. We did manage to make Heaven Pegasus good because we were able to defeat all those Beyblades, but at the same time we haven't really versed the top tier Beyblades yet. Like we have, of course, the Infinite Lock series Beyblades and we have Lord Spriggan. So against those guys, I'm not really sure. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Let's do Union Achilles next. I'm going to put Union Achilles on. Should we do defense type mode? Let's do defense type mode. He's on defense type mode right now. Let's see how he does on defense type mode. Ready? Three, two, one, two, three. Oh my goodness. Why does Heaven Pegasus do that so much? Ready? Three, two, one, two. Heaven Pegasus. Three, two, one, two. Union Achilles on defense type mode. Oh my goodness. Defense type mode's awesome because it's like a plastic. Oh! No, it bursted Union Achilles. A oh, frick. It bursted Heaven Pegasus. I'm sorry. I don't know what's with me today. I'm mixing up uh, Beyblade names. Anyway, so yeah. Dang. He was able to burst Heaven Pegasus. That sucks. Okay, one more battle against these two. Shoot. Heaven Pegasus. Three, two, one, shoot. Union Achilles. Alright, let's see how he does against Union Achilles. If it bursts again against Union Achilles, I guess I'll put the Gen Weight on it and we'll see how it does with the Gen Weight. Oh my goodness, solid hits. Solid hits from Union Achilles. And the winner of this battle, please. No, Pegasus, no. Pegasus, no. Pegasus, no. So it looks like Union Achilles is the first Beyblade to beat our upgraded Pegasus combo. That is just depressing. Let's move on to one of the better Beyblades in the whole entire series, the Infinite Lock series, or the Infinite Lock System Beyblades. Wow, I'm just so sad right now. I really want Heaven Pegasus to destroy everyone, but it looks like Union Achilles was able to defeat it. Let's go with uh, Regalia Genesis first. 3, 2, 1, shoot. Heaven Pegasus. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot. Regalia Genesis, aka Regalia Genesis. I'm just gonna call it Regalia Genesis. That sounds way cooler. Let's see how Regalia Genesis does with the motorized driver. Obviously, my motorized driver is broken because it doesn't even work. And I, a bunch of people in the comment section told me, oh, it's not that your motorized driver isn't working, it's that you didn't turn it on. I turned it on, guys. I'm not stupid. There's a switch on it. I'm, I'm not as stupid as you think I am. Anyway, the winner of that battle was Regalia Genesis. Ah, oh, so sad. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot. Heaven Pegasus, 3, 2, 1, two. Regalia Genesis. All right, Heaven Pegasus versus Regalia Genesis. Again, hopefully the upgraded Heaven Pegasus... Can you yes! 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 
<laughs> okay, so it was able to defeat Regalia Genesis that one time. Let's do one last tiebreaker match to see if Heaven Pegasus can triumph against Regalia Genesis, or maybe Regalia Genesis is just better than Heaven Pegasus. That would be very sad if that was the outcome. All right, ready? I'm gonna launch Regalia Genesis first this time. Three, two, one, go. Regalia Genesis, three, two, one. Heaven Pegasus. All right, let's see who's going to win this one. Regalia or Pegasus. Solid hit from both Beyblades. Regalia Gen is Heaven- Oh no! 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 I thought Heaven Pegasus was able to was gonna be able to win that one, but Regalia Genesis ended up getting a crazy awesome burst at the end. No! 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 <laughs> Maybe Pegasus does need the Gen wait. Ah, this is so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. Should we switch Pegasus to the Genweight now? Yeah, let's just switch him to the Genweight. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. I switched Pegasus to the Genweight. I put the one that came on Knockout Odin. It came in a really nice light blue. Uh, I felt like that really fit Heaven Pegasus's color scheme. So yeah, let's put him up. Should we do one more battle against Regaliensis with the Gen Wait, it feels so much lighter now. Maybe it won't even do as well. All right, we'll put it. We'll do one battle against Regalia Genesis with the Gen Wait. Ready? Three, two, one. Shoot. Heaven Pegasus. Three, two, one. Go. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's so much. It's so much lighter with the Gen Wait. I feel like the Gen Wait is not the strat. It makes this Beyblade so light. All right, let's do. Uh, I guess we'll do a few more battles with the Gen Wait, and then maybe if it's way too late, we'll switch it back. Let's do it against Prime Apocalypse with the Ultimate Reboot Dash. Three, two, one. Shoot. Uh, Heaven Pegasus. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Prime Apocalypse Ultimate Reboot Dash. Solid hits from Prime Apocalypse. But of course, Pegasus now has the Gen Weight, so it's able to take the hits with no problem. It's definitely not bursting now. Alright, and the winner of this battle is going to be... Heaven Pegasus. Maybe Heaven Pegasus is better with the Gen Weight. Okay, let's do one more battle against these two. Three, two, one, shoot. Heaven Pegasus. Three, two, one, shoot. Prime Apocalypse. Yeah, it's so much lighter with the Gen Weight. It's getting thrown around like crazy. But again, at least it's not bursting like before. Okay, and the winner is Heaven Pegasus is able to win against Regalia Genesis. Frick, not Regalia Genesis. I'm messing up so much in this video. I probably shouldn't even upload it. Whatever. I'm too deep in the recording. Prime Apocalypse is amazing, but it lost against the new Heaven Pegasus combo because the new Heaven Pegasus combo is also amazing. Let's try Heaven Pegasus against Lord Spriggan now. This is the ultimate test, guys. If Heaven Pegasus can beat Lord Spriggan, then we made the ultimate Heaven Pegasus combo, and therefore we definitely made Heaven Pegasus good. And if Heaven Pegasus loses to Lord Spriggan, well, a lot of Beyblades lose to Lord Spriggan, so that doesn't necessarily mean that Heaven Pegasus is bad. I'm just trying to justify this video, all right? I'm trying to make the... <laughs> I'm trying to justify the title, trying to make Heaven Pegasus actually good. Keyword trying. If we don't succeed, we tried. All right, ready? Three, two, one, shoot. Heaven Pegasus, three, two, one, shoot. And there is Spriggan Lord Spriggan. I should have put Lord Spriggan on attack mode. I don't know why it's on stamina mode right now. I thought I put it on attack mode, but I guess not. Let's see if Heaven Pegasus can be- Oh, solid hit. Oh, and yeah, Heaven Pegasus is not going to be able to defeat Lord Spriggan. Yeah, Lord Spriggan is going to be able to win that battle. Uh, let's do one more battle against these two. I'm going to switch Lord Spriggan to attack mode, see if that's any different. Ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot. Heaven Pegasus, 3, 2, 1. Shoot. Lord Spriggan on attack mode. Solid hits. Lord Spriggan. Hit the Beyblade, my dude. Hit the Beyblade. I watched Lord Spriggan still win, even though it, like, went around the stadium and lost a bunch of stamina. If Lord Spriggan still wins, then that that's just gonna be depressing. Maybe we'll have to switch the Gen weight to uh, an actual weight disc after this battle. See if I oh, no! See, it's so light! Lord Spriggan was able to just to knock it out. Okay, we're gonna switch uh, the Gen weight to a normal weight disc and put it up against Lord Spriggan and see how it does. Maybe it'll do a little better. Alright, golden weight disc. Let's see how it does against Lord Spriggan now. It feels so much more heavy. Ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot! Heaven Pegasus, don't lose this Heaven Pegasus to the shoot. And Lord Spriggan, let's see who's gonna win. The amazing, probably best Beyblade in the game, Lord Spriggan, or our upgraded Heaven Pegasus combo. Heaven Pegasus is taking the hits like a boss. My goodness, it's just like absorbing those hits. I love the golden weight. It looks so amazing. The golden weight is awesome. And the winner, oh, Heaven Pegasus defeated Lord Spriggan. What the heck? What the heck? I was not a- what? Okay, so... I'm so con- okay. <sighs> Wait, but that's so concerning. 
because with the Gen weight, it burst against Reality Genesis, but it was able to defeat Lord Spring. I feel like, okay, I definitely feel like uh, having a normal weight on Heaven Pegasus is a lot better than the Gen weight, but at the same time, it does burst well. We're gonna do that one more time. I feel like that was a fluke because Lord Spriggan doesn't really lose. Three, two, one, shoot. Heaven Pegasus. Okay, Lord Spriggan don't lose. You know what? We're gonna switch Lord Spriggan to stamina type mode, and we're gonna see how it does. So um, let me relaunch. Uh, Pegasus one more time. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Pegasus, and then Spriggan on stamina type mode. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Spriggan on stamina type. Let's go! Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't have the perfect combo because, of course, if we put the Gen weight on Pegasus, then it's way too light. It loses a lot of stamina. It's able to get hit out of the stadium very easily. But if we put a normal weight on Pegasus, then it's just gonna burst like that. Anyway, so, yeah, overall, I feel like we did make a solid combo for Pegasus. The Pegasus combo was Outer Eternal. It was able to defeat a bunch of Beyblades. It was able to defeat Valkyrie, Ace Dragon, El Drago, uh, Venom Diablos, Flare, dragon it was not able to defeat these two guys but and it also wasn't able to defeat lord spriggan but like who, who defeats lord spriggan anyway but i still think we did do a pretty good job on making heaven pegasus at least viable anyway so yeah remember to rate comment and subscribe if you guys do want to see uh more videos from the series making beyblades actually good leave a like and tell me in the comment section below which beyblade you want me to do it next maybe we'll do like hazard kirby is making hazard kirby is actually good or maybe boosh and assure because boosh and assure is booty Anyways, yeah, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later. Have a nice day. Bye.